Hi guys, how are you today? I'm back. This is Kathleen and we've been discussing about the book of Revelation for the past few days. And today we have come to the last few chapters. I think this will be my last video from the study guide called Revelation Mixtape written by Daniel Miller. We were supposed to like read Revelation 19 to 20, but I have decided to read it all the way through. It was just because um, I had so much more time to read. So God has been revealing so much with us and it has been an amazing journey reading the Revelation. I'm really, really grateful to God. I'm really, really blessed um, to share all these thoughts with you all because um, it's such a beautiful chapter in the Bible, you know, can have a glimpse of what God has for us towards the very end. It's really amazing, you know, I get it that, you know, some people are afraid to read the Revelation because, you know, you would see it was a bit chaotic, like the scenarios, but, you know, this, um, this is an amazing time to read it because you could relate to what is happening in the world and you could see that there is hope and the fulfillment of God's promises towards us. So here we go. Hallelujah. Revelation 19 to 20. I entitled it Hallelujah too, just like what Daniel did. Victory is won. We realize that there's a table prepared for us, his people. Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. So the church is the lamb's wife, you know, like just as what you know Daniel mentioned in the group. Like here, heaven and hell on judgment day, you know, like those who whose names are not written in the book of life, um, will be thrown up to the lake of burning fire and so forth forever and this will be the second death we don't know who's written in the book of life but we can be assured that when jesus is our lord and savior and we have accepted him in our heart jesus who is the lamb who is the savior who is the king of kings the lord of lords we can be assured that our name is written in the book of life we don't have to fear revelation and we don't have to be afraid about it because or we don't have to be afraid that we will be like thrown out to the lake of burning fire and sulfur and and second it because that is not what God promised to his people. His promise to us is that there's gonna be a new heaven, a new earth. It's like Eden being restored. There's no sea, but there's river of water of life. This is his kingdom come, the new heaven and the new earth. God's dwelling place and there will be no more tears no more crying no more mourning pain and death and we are gonna be purified and impure and there's no impurity or sinfulness or anything evil that will be in heaven or that will be in this new heaven in this new earth you know it will be like a god being one with us you know like just like marriage you know this is the perfect picture of it you know that god wants us to see that the revelation is not something that we should fear about but this is something that we should look forward because this is the fulfillment of god's covenant to us we can be assured that it is done he is the alpha and the omega he's the beginning and the end and it tells in this last few chapters that we have an inher inheritance we have a reward from him and we have eternal life and with jesus we have hope he is the lamb he is our savior and he's the one that we're going to be standing with when this day comes and that is the greatest revelation of all like looking back in the previous chapters there's so many chaos happening and it's like you know like you would really be afraid to like like the violence that's happening it's just very sad but this is the part that we overcome we overcome because jesus is our conqueror jesus is our savior and the song that i could relate this chapters there's so many songs that came into my mind the songs 
called Heart Open Wide. This is all songs by Every Nation Worship. An author of my life, it is written, our names are in the book of life. And the song Ever Be, a song of unity, of, of marriage, of a picture of of the bride and, and the lamb, you know, God being us, with us. Take a time to worship and pray and just enjoy the things that God revealed to you. Um, and you can comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. And Daniel, thank you so much for this book. It has really been helpful. Daniel, thank you for pouring your heart into it. And it was really good. I'm very blessed of who God is. Of just the things that, you know, he has promised. It's fulfillment. It's all just been amazing. Um, beautiful picture coming together. Um, just so much more and I am still in awe and I am still amazed thank you so much it has been an amazing journey with you um, and I will hear your comments thank you God bless you all and goodbye